Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Killing Lady and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. It is Monday, so it is time for personalized cards. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create super quick apron shaped cards that say thank you. I created those cards for people who work with me and they serve absolutely amazing food. I'm going to use fancy apron cutting die set from Crafters Companion. However, if you don't have it, you can use any of the SVG files you've got or create your own template. I'm also going to use tropical patterned card set from the little and it is 245 GSM which is perfect for cut bases and also some elements for your paper craft projects. I'm going to die cut the apron and the pocket from that beautiful blue black and also that moss green. I think the color palette in this cut set is simply stunning. So if you haven't got that cut set from the little, I hope you still find it in your local shop. What I really like about those cutting dies, they are just so easy to work with and don't forget to use low tech tape whenever you put them through a die cutting machine. In that tropical pattern cut set, we also have lots of fruit and vegetables and I use my scan and cut machine to cut all of those. As you can see there are double sided which is absolutely amazing because you can use any side you want for your project. So I thought they would be perfect for today's aprons. As you can see I've got them already. I wasn't really sure at this time which ones I'm going to use so I've got all of them ready to create my projects. And as you see they do have double sided images which is so amazing. So let's start with the first apron and I've got that moss green. To add a little bit more dimension on the pocket I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue and also double sided foam adhesive because I really want this card to stand proudly on the flat surface but also have a little bit of dimension and interest. As you can see these cards will be super easy and quick to make because I already have all those images ready and actually all those three cards together took me about 25 minutes which is super quick for three cards if you think about this. I had to add that pineapple because yes I know that person likes them as well. So yes I've got two fruit um, in the pocket and also I decided to use strawberries on the pocket for a little bit of balance and I think that if you add green and red together they just work so well together. Now we've got um, the front and the back panel from 300 GSM uh, multi-purpose card and using the same green, moss green from the card, I created that strip. And I think that small detail really adds to the card. And now I'm going to put my front panel on the front card base and this is the easiest way to assemble your card together. So you can, as I said before, you can use copy paper to create your own template. Just use a ruler and scissors and then you can actually keep that template for future reference and you can make as many cards as you want. Now using my scoring board I'm going to create the top flap and all the names of the products I use in today's video. You can check in the description down below. If you're interested and if you use any of my affiliate links that really supports my channel so thank you so much. Also I wanted to tell you that on a Thursday I'm going to have another shaped card tutorial but with Christmas edition so stay tuned for that and also on Saturday and Sunday I'm going to have two Halloween projects as well. I'm going to use Tonic Studio alphabet cutting dies and I cut them out from gold mirror card and using low tack tape I'm going to help myself just to make sure they are on a straight line. So if you haven't used that trick in your card making I hope today is the day. And I also wonder what is your favorite fruit and also what is your favorite vegetable. Please let me know in the comments down below. This card is super simple to create but I really think that shape really adds to the whole project because um we can put that apron on a square or rectangular card but I think the shape is big enough to actually just keep it this way and there is plenty of space to write your message inside. And also using that gold mirror card it really makes the whole card pop a little bit more. 
As you can see, I didn't add any gems because this card is for a male. So I thought, no, I'm not going to add any gems for this card. So the first one is done and let's move on to the second one with that stunning blue. When I saw that color in the card set, I thought I really need that card set just for this color. Not only for the vegetables and fruit inside and also in that tropical tropical pattern card set there are also other images which are so so beautiful and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them for my future projects as well so this card is nearly done now you just have to decide what do you put to decorate your elements super quick and easy and if you have never ever created the shaped card I really hope today is the day because they're just so simple but effective and everyone loves shaped cards I can tell you that and again I've got that strip and I'm going to add a little bit of curve to it just using my fingers super simple you don't really need any special tools to do it and now it is time to assemble the whole card together as you can see I put the strip first if you want you can also add some smaller elements at the top like buttons if you want to add that extra interest to your card as well but for those aprons I decided against it but it is your project as well so you can do whatever you want and again when this is ready I'm going to add that thank you using gold mirror card and the second apron will be done isn't it simple and what do you think about all those fruit and vegetables here? Do you like them? Would you like to use them in your projects? Maybe you have created a project with some food as well. If you haven't seen my pop-up box using 6x6 inches card base, check the link in the top right corner. It is a super simple project to create, but you can use any card base and no special dice so when these thank you words are ready the project will be done as well so if you have any shaped um, cutting dice or nesting dice seriously take them out and play with them because you will be amazed how many beautiful projects you can create so i do encourage you to do it this week so when this is ready yes we have to create that back panel and again using my scoring board from crafters companion i'm going to create a top flap fold it burnish and yes we're going to attach those two panels together super quick and as i said before these cards stand really proudly on the flat surface i absolutely love them and they are super quick to make so our second card is done and as you can see there is plenty of space to write your message inside and for the third one i've got that black apron because in our kitchen one person wears green moss color the second one navy blue and the last one black so i thought yes let's personalize those aprons a little bit more with those colors and please let me know what do you think about that color scheme for aprons have you ever worn an apron in that color or maybe you know someone who works in the kitchen and you would like to say thank you to them so i do hope i will inspire you to create a thank you card for them so as you can see those fruits are ready and it is time to add that thank you and put the front and the back panel which you know how to do it so you don't have to watch me do it again and our third cut is finished and i do wonder what do you think about all those three cuts now you can see them side by side so which one is your favorite please let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i really hope to see you on thursday for my christmas edition crafting bye